Your Excellency Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Your Excellency President Azali Asunami, President of the Union of the Comoros and Chair of the African Union, Your Excellencies, Leaders of BRICS Nations, Excellencies, Leaders of Africa and the Global South Leaders, Leaders of Regional Institutions, Honorable Ministers, Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, Paul Mashtile. It is a great honor to welcome you all to South Africa for the BRICS Outreach and BRICS Plus Dialogue. When reflecting on the purpose and the role of BRICS in the world today, we recall the Bandung Conference of 1955, when Asian and African nations demanded a greater voice for the developing countries in world affairs. The conference called for the recognition of the equality of all nations, both large and small. We still share that common vision of a fair and a just world. We still seek to overcome polarity and division. We want a world without barriers between North, South, East, and West. We still seek a world in which we work together, underpinned by mutual respect. Through the 15th BRICS Summit and this dialogue, we should strive to advance the Bandung spirit of unity, friendship, and cooperation. In South Africa, we have a word that we use to describe friendship, cooperation, and we call that Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a practice based on the understanding that our success, our prosperity, and well-being depends on the success, prosperity, and well-being of others. That is why we also use another South African term about our identities whilst respecting the identities of others. We often say, I am because you are. And that is a recognition and that is the respect that we want to accord to one another. We see the BRICS partnership as a catalyst for global growth and development and response to the needs of all nations. It is the right of Africa and the entire global south to fully re -app the benefits of global trade and investment. Without trade and investment, our economies cannot thrive and our people's material conditions cannot improve. As the African continent, we are determined that the continent's substantial resources are harnessed for the benefit as well as for the development of the people of Africa. The African continental free trade area, once fully operational, will unlock the benefits of the continental market and generate substantial opportunities for African countries, but also for other countries. To make use of these opportunities, Africa is looking to BRICS partnership to unlock infrastructure and development financing. This was part of the founding vision 
of the New Development Bank. This bank is playing a leading role in efforts to increase the resilience of the Global South and to bring fairness to the global trading system, the financial system, and to strengthen BRICS currencies. We have to reform global economic, financial, and political, as well as the multilateral trading system so that we can create a conducive environment for fair trade. While many countries of the Global South are seeking sufficient, significant progress in industrialization, in technological development, in innovation, and the digital economy, they are not fully reaping the economic benefits of their efforts. By working together, by sharing skills and capabilities, by mobilizing resources, we will be able to give renewed impetus to the global growth and sustainable development. We need to move beyond expressions of solidarity towards inclusion, mutually beneficial economic cooperation as well. We trust that this dialogue that is being attended by some 65 countries will provide leadership, vision, and hope as we strive together for a better Africa and for a better world. It is for this reason that I welcome you all warmly and I welcome you all on behalf of the BRICS leaders who have just issued their declaration which outlines a number of important aspects. The BRICS leaders have also taken a decision to expand the BRICS membership and that announcement having been made we welcome those new members, but at the same time, that is the first phase and other phases will follow. And we welcome various other countries in the partnership of the BRICS countries. So thank you very much and thank you for being here. I thank you.